Hello Internet, this is Whispering Wim, finally bringing you another grocery haul today. I got a little delayed because my apartment complex decided that uh, last week would have been a great week to paint the building. <laughs> so they um, did the power washing for like two days and then we come home and all our windows are taped up and everything. And, uh, it was uh, kind of surreal almost because you had to live in like a plastic bubble for a little while. But they are all done now, and um, or at least with my immediate building. Looks like they still got a couple more to do over there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a video <laughs> while we can. First up, we have my cooler bag and inside the cooler bag got some uh, three cheese mix it's got parmesan uh, romano and asagio cheeses in there and then we've got a nice little bag of uh, mandarin oranges and some yogurt i don't know if i've said it already or not but i'm a real new fan of this less sugar Greek yogurt that uh, Giovanni has been putting out. Uh, it has 11 carbs, so a little, it's not bad. It's kind of like medium range as far as something that I can eat. Um, and this Madagascar cinnamon flavor, it's very subtle. And I like subtle sometimes, so yay Giovanni. <laughs> Next up have some mozzarella cheese and some butter. Those are good basics, right? And then I did get my guys some more of that cheesy toast. Uh, as you recall, I am um, trying not to eat bread myself, but these are nice because I can just pull one or two out and heat it up when I'm making the rest of dinner and he gets his bread and it's a little easier for me to resist temptation since um, I only defrost what I need. Next up, we've got some pre-made hamburger patties. Um, I decided not to buy a giant thing of ground beef and divide it up. Uh, so this will satisfy our beef needs. I have a package of hamburger buns in the freezer and just like the cheesy bread, I just pull out enough for him. And then I have my hamburger with like avocado and lettuce and stuff. Up next, we have lots and lots of frozen vegetables. We have San Francisco, Asian stir fry, uh, more San Francisco, Italian blend, and I think one more stir fry. Yep. So I used to avoid frozen vegetables, kind of like that perception that uh, they're not fresh, so they're not as good. But I've been reading up on it, and frozen veggies often have more nutrients than their fresh counterparts, um, especially if you shop at like a big grocery store. And the reason for that is, is that Frozen vegetables tend to get more time to sun ripen because they're processed near their farm. Whereas, you know, if you get carrots in the supermarket, they're pulled a little early and then they're transported a long ways. And um, so, yeah, the nutrition can be just as good, if not better, when frozen. And then finishing out my cool bag here, we've got some burritos. I will be house sitting for a friend this coming week, and uh, which means my guy might end up having to make himself dinner once in a while. And uh, he doesn't quite cook per se, but he will heat up some frozen burritos. <laughs> this next bag, has a few fun things in it. First up is this um, maple pecan snack mix. 
and it has like dried cherries and apples in it, cinnamon, and um, they're a little pricey, so we just got one to try, right? But it should be a really fun change of pace uh, for the lunch, I think. And along that same thread, this was definitely an impulse buy, Reese's Popped Snack. So there's sweet and salty mix with Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Minis, Reese's Pieces, Peanut Butter Covered Peanuts, Pretzels, and Chocolate Drizzled Popcorn. <laughs> Doesn't that sound decadent? This one will probably be a difficult one for me to avoid completely, but half a cup has 22 grams of carbohydrate, which is a little on the high side, but within acceptability if I don't eat it every day. <laughs> Next up is a slightly more uh, reasonable lunch addition, some protein bars with some nuts and you know fun stuff in there. It's salted caramel flavor. And then we've got some good old-fashioned noodles. Another easy thing that I could just make a little bit of, right? And then my guy's favorite barbecue sauce, Famous Dave's um, Devil's Spit. So it's really spicy, but it's not like ghost pepper spicy, right? It's, uh, in my opinion, as spicy as you get before it's a little silly. <laughs> Next is not one, but two bottles of soy sauce. You'll notice that one is less sodium. Uh, for dipping and things like that, I think full salt is full flavor. <laughs> um, but with those frozen vegetables, I've uh, been doing a new thing where I s cook up some bacon and I leave the fat in the pan, throw in a bunch of vegetables and some chopped garlic, and then I let that all kind of saute for a while. And then I throw on a little bit of soy sauce and let that cook down into the mix and it makes a really delicious um, vegetable side dish, right? Problem is, is that it's easy to OD on the salt if you only use the regular kind, so I ended up getting one of each. Next up, I did get a little flavor pack. Um, I keep telling myself that I'm just gonna buy the stuff to replace flavor packets like this. And overall, I don't use too many of them, but once in a while, a particular mix like this tomato garlic basil kinda hits the spot and, you know, it's a little easier, right? Than uh, trying to make sure I get exactly the right amount of spice, cause I'm, uh, I'm definitely the sort of person that I like pour it in and taste it and pour something else in. It's very, you know, haphazard the way that I cook. <laughs> and then we got tomato sauce and some heart healthy nuts and some not so heart healthy nuts in the form of peanut butter. <laughs> Here we have some garlic to help facilitate the uh, uh, fried vegetable mix that I was telling you about earlier. Some white beans for white chili that I make with chicken and cream. It's very delicious. One little packet of instant mashed potatoes. And last but not least for that particular bag, we have some golden curry mix. Next up, we have my favorite Daiso bag, uh, which is unfortunately falling apart at the seams, literally. Um, I may try to like do a, a glue or something so that I can continue using this bag because it is one of my favorites. Uh, it's just a good size for um, a couple of heavy tall things like half and half which is in here but not at the top uh, first up would be celery and then some 
jalapenos because my guy likes it hot, right? And then uh, we've got the half and half. We actually have two of them because <laughs> uh, we actually have two because I'm a bit obsessed with cream and coffee. <laughs> also in this bag, we've got some lens wipes. I decided that I needed to have this in my purse when I get off of work. I am a baker, right? Uh, so I'm working with like cream cheese icing and simple syrup and lots of sticky gooey things. And I always, because I'm readjusting my glasses all the time, I'm always getting like a crusty bit of like frosting <laughs> right on that corner of my glass. And when I'm at work, I don't tend to notice it. I'm very like focused and I'm like going crazy trying to get everything done on time because we're perpetually understaffed. But as soon as I get into my car and I have no ability to clean them other than like to lift up my shirt, that's when I see it. And then I've got to drive home and it's right there <laughs> at the corner of my eye driving me nuts. So. I think these will end up being a bit of a lifesaver. And uh, on that note, we're going to finish out my Daiso bag with some bacon. Uh, I eat a lot of bacon these days. <laughs> um, for those vegetables, as I was explaining before, and breakfast, and it just seems to be a monthly expense now. <laughs> Next up is my giant but very flimsy um, Disney bag, which I actually saw some good use because I had a lot of large, light, bulky things in this shopping trip. The first being not one, but two packages of seaweed snacks. They are a guilty pleasure of mine. And I don't say guilty because of the calorie count. They're pretty reasonable. There's only 25 calories per pack, uh, one carbohydrate, and there's actually one gram of protein. So they're actually a really good snack. Now the reason why I kind of feel bad about buying them is that it's a lot of plastic. You know, there's the inner sleeve, right? And then there's like a, a plastic tray so that the seaweed doesn't get all crushed up. So I do feel a little bit bad about the amount of garbage that is involved in eating these, but I picked up a pack right before we went camping, which we went camping. Yay, fun. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just ate it so hardcore. It was gone in like a day. Uh, that I knew I needed to like get it out of my system and buy some more um, and hopefully then I'll be sated for a little while. <laughs> Camping was a lot of fun. Um, I did a little grocery shopping beforehand and I was going to do a video and that's the day they started power washing our uh, walls. <laughs> but I was surprised. I ended up spending like almost $80 on camping stuff and it was for like a single weekend whereas my whole grocery haul which there'll be more that I'll throw up on the counter here soon uh, was under $200 <laughs> um, and that'll get us through three weeks maybe four so it's interesting how buying in bulk versus like single-use items or unusual items can really change the um, amount the cost of grocery shopping, right? Buy in bulk when you can. <laughs> Anyways, I've been waving this around. We've got some onion mix just to kind of uh, add a little bit of flavor to certain things. And then some coffee filters. I bought coffee filters, I don't know, a month or two ago, but I picked up the wrong size. And we've been using them anyways, because I don't want to be wasteful. But I'm getting a little tired <laughs> of finding the, um, the grinds at the bottom of my coffee cup. 
because it'll like fill and then because it's short it'll overfill and the grounds will go in not a lot but definitely enough to be annoying right there is also another onion mix that i picked up for funsies and this one is onion mushroom flavor so I don't know. I'll have fun kind of exploring them a little bit. Moving right along. We've got a big old bag of snacks for lunches. And this particular bag looks like it's seen some things. It's got like claw marks and a little bit of a stain here. Um, but I think I've said it before, a lot of times if something looks a little beat up, but still usable, you should buy it because most people won't. And you're probably thinking, oh, well, then if they don't want to buy it because it looks beat up, why would I want to take the risk? Unfortunately, the way the laws are in the U.S., a lot of places can't donate food that looks like it's been tampered with. So at some point, this probably would have just gotten tossed in the can, um, completely whole, as you see it right now. And um, it just makes me sad. I used to work at Sam's Club, which now I do a lot of shopping. And I got to see the waste firsthand. And we were always like, can we donate it? Can we donate it? And the answer was a big resounding no. Um, the liability issue is too high. Um, you know, the meat could have been out for a half a second too long, or maybe one of these bags has like a puncture in it and it got exposed to air. Um, and just that slight amount of risk isn't worth it. And the way the laws are written, um, they don't encourage businesses to donate their food. Um, I wish we had a more socialistic um, law as far as that's concerned. Anyways, that's enough of a, this soapbox for today. All right, so let's go fishing for something new. Get me off of that rant. <laughs> and this is a surprise for the lunches. It is, in fact, its own mini lunch, right? I confess I ate a lot, a lot, a lot of these gummy snacks when I was little, uh, so there's a nostalgia factor for me. Um, I don't think uh, my guy will be as excited as I am, but he's often excited simply because I'm excited about things. He doesn't, he's kind of stoic if you don't know him. I think it just comes from um, being very baseline. You know, he tries not to get super excited or super sad and just kind of stays even. Anyways, next up is some blueberry muffins. And we should have some chocolate chip muffins in here as well. Just for those couple of mornings that I'm not gonna be around because I'm house sitting, he'll have something to eat. Because if I don't give him ready to eat items, Sometimes he just doesn't eat, the silly guy. And then last but not least, we've got some jalapeno potato chips. <laughs> Next up is the Sam's Club portion of my shopping trip today. Um, not pictured here is the chicken. I already divided it up and threw it in the fridge so that it wouldn't get too hot. I, uh, I can't run the AC <laughs> while I'm making a video, so in the summertime, I have to kind of do a balancing act, right? Um, but everything pictured here, I got for less than $80. Um, so I'm a big proponent <laughs> of buying in bulk when you can, right? Uh, and first up is my me splurge, my diet-friendly splurge big old package of prosciutto and then we've got big old crinkly very crinkly <laughs> bag of broccoli and a bag of carrots finally for the top here we also have a four pack 
of Kabasa. I am impressed on how much of a deal this really is. Um, at Winco, I can buy a single one for just under $3. I think it's like $2.98 or something like that. Um, and this whole package was like $6.50. So that's quite a deal. And I like Kabasa. Um, I uh, have a fan out there who said that uh, she really likes the way Polish people look. <laughs> and I do have a lot of Polish blood in me. Um, so perhaps that's why I like Kibasa so much. <laughs> now, I did get this bin here at Sam's Club as well. Uh, it was like $9 and some change. And I needed a new storage device for all my wool. <laughs> My arts and crafts supplies are just bursting at the seams, figuratively, this time. Because um, I've been doing so many shows and I'm buying more and more stuff and it's not good for a one-bedroom apartment. Uh, but anyways, I got this bin and I already don't like it. Uh, it has these snaps, right? So it should be nice and sturdy, but on the sides here, it doesn't actually, like connect very well and just with the little weight of what was in here I could feel the lid separating. Um, I don't think I'll return it but I definitely don't recommend it for um, normal storage. My wool is pretty light uh, so it should do fine in there but I was a little disappointed because normally um, Sam's Club has like higher quality stuff and this was less quality than what I could get at like Walmart. So, a little disappointing. And inside this bin, we've got some lovely tomatoes, 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 <laughs> however you want to say it. Um, they did not have the super fun one that had like green and purple in it today, but cocktail tomatoes are just as good, so. I don't need fancy colors, but I want them. <laughs> uh, next up, big old bag of avocado. Nice, healthy fat and fiber. Fiber is very good. <laughs> um, we also have, for my guys' lunches, a jumbo size box of Rice Krispie Treats. And there's M&M ones and chocolate ones and uh, more chocolate ones. <laughs> so it's kind of like a chocolate variety pack, but I think he'll enjoy those greatly. We've got a giant box of Minute Rice. <laughs> Uh, this whole box was like five sixty-eight, I want to say. Uh, so again, a very good deal, in my opinion. And also for just around five dollars, we've got this big old bag of Chex Mix, which my guy is quite fond of. And then our last item, which doesn't have a, a big reveal, again because of our clear tub here. Uh, but it is a giant bag of Granny Smith apples for lunches and breakfast. <laughs> um, and that concludes my grocery shopping for today. Um, I always say thank you, thank you to everyone who comments and everything. Um, I apparently have hit 200 subscribers, which just blows my mind completely. <laughs> Especially because lately I haven't been able to do as many videos as I'd like to do. Um, but hopefully that'll change soon. I mean, I'm doing the standard ones at least, but doing any extra is hard. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and give some shout outs. Um, Emily Estrada has been commenting lots of videos, as many people have. Um, Crystal Whispers, and there's a name that I can't pronounce, 
uh, Ezeti, I think is how it's it's said, Ezeti 2016. Um, those are among uh, many different commenters. Um, yeah. <laughs> the endings are always the hardest part, right? The endings and the beginnings. Middle of the video, easy peasy. Anyways, um, I'm ready to turn the AC on because it's boiling in here. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.